Look out! Look out! Your little animals are escaping, dumbass. <laughs> you should not be laughing. You did a mean thing to a little kid. What are you gonna do about it? How do we resolve this? You know, she could be expelled. Hope not. But if every other first time offender was expelled, I guess fair is fair. Are you gonna take this seriously? Sure. You don't bluff me, I don't bluff you. Miss Stevenson believes that your child is exceptional and has talents that our curriculum can't begin to challenge. It just so happens that I am good friends with the headmaster of the Oaks Academy for Gifted Education. He has always said that if I find that one in a million... And the one in a million has a $30,000 tuition. Mr. Adler, I can get your daughter a scholarship. Full ride. I wouldn't say it if I couldn't do it. I realize putting that girl in that setting, you know, 99 times out of 100, it's what you do. It's the Oaks. It's a great school. I looked into it. But this family has a history with those schools. And I think the last thing that little girl needs is reinforcement that she's different. Trust me, she knows. So, I think Mary, I think she's got to be here. Today's a bad ending. You can't hit people, but a 12-year-old bullies a 7-year-old and she stands up. Do you know how important it is to me that she did that? You know how proud I am of her? Aren't you? Mr. Adler, your daughter and shattered I, I a young I boy's... You can't hit people. That will be made very clear. I get that. But Mrs. Davis, if we separate our leaders, if we segregate them from people like you and me, you get congressmen. So I'm sorry, I wish I could take your offer, but Mary stays, unless you kick her out. This is a mistake. We'll never be able to raise this child to the level of scholarship she deserves. Well, just dumb her down into a decent human being. Everybody wins. You know what, just can you explain? 